Hello. Bungie slash Thomas TJ uh, God, if you will. Here. Um, so, uh, welcome to my first uh, audio review thing. Um, here I'll be reviewing anything, mostly TV show episodes that I've aired. So, that seems like, I don't know, every once in a while. I'll try to get them out for a weekly, maybe a few times a week. But, anyway, so every time a new episode of Finny Confirmed, especially, airs, I'll talk about it. And there were two this weekend for Platypus Day with Perry Fiend event. I'm watching the marathon right now, and, uh, I'm with Perry Fiend 2 right now. So, so let's talk about. Uh, I'll do two separate videos for the Captain Code because I don't want to go like too like long for the video. So we'll talk about Guide Track now and Final Parry in the next video. So Guide Track, um, Captain Code was directed by Robert F. Hughes, written by Kang, Kim Robinson, Leaky Graf, not that knowing that, uh, and John Mathbot. And I just want to give a shout out to them. Go so, anyway. The first half hour of Game Four, and um, it's different from the other last first half hour of our show. Cause the other three Kings, the first half hour, don't try anything that different. The balancing plot, but here it's all Perry. Like here it's all Perry. Like they can focus on him and do for him and. Finnick focusing on him like a character and how he acts and how he grows with a new character. But here's our main plot. Basically, he had a falling out with an agent, a human agent from Canada. But Margaret makes him team up with her to stop a hijacked train that's running on the U.S. Canadian border because they don't have jurisdiction in Canada. And Doomsburg have done a sort of a exchange swap. He swapped a uh, plan with Professor Bannister, and he is going to stop the train and prevent the, move, the precious Moose Albert from getting to Canada, so they are having more national pride. Why do Canada have human agents anyway? Really polite. Why do they have human agents? They don't. All Canadians are half there. Duh. Anyway. So, no any plot with this one. They appear at the beginning with just for a head to show Perry's point of view and can the same thing. It won't be even about it. Um, so, your opinion of the code may be affected by how you view the new character of the introduced kind of book of law on La 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 Berry, played by Clint B. Um, and my, most people seem to be okay with her. Code find her annoying. But they do, they did grow up there. So, that's kind of a point. And it's kind of more like a paradox, actually. I'm more fan of contention. Anyway, go from the beginning of Carl Leiter. She's like, you know, sort of fun. She, like, she, she, both she and Perry, I think, to learn. Perry to learn the importance of teamwork and accepting other dynamics and other techniques. And she needs to learn when to actually be serious because she has to eat better logic. She's like a great team lawyer. When do traps them. But the guy told convention, because they're a fun bunch of people, they can't fight. But Perry slowly makes it go do freak out and come for a riot so we can play it. And I thought, with Lyle helping, I guess he would. We're in the glamour and like that, where Perry and Lyle, Lyle like, or do something, and they both end up, end up coming together. Go, go. Yeah, it's actually interesting, because in a normal episode, they might be rushed. But now they have a lot more time to mix the game of do plots, so you'll be fine wherever you like each plot there. So they can cover and they end up being really okay. It actually like popped up in the first song on a hand card. When they get on a hand card and they have to push together, then they have to work together. It could uh, I a a heavy and a metaphor for how they work together. It stuck out kind of slow and it, it doesn't really pick up to the last half, and I think it you know, well, I just wish they made it comparable. What is a lot better is the second song, Helicopter Flight, which I won't spoil because it is one of the funny songs they've ever done. Anyway, so Lila, Lila is a lot of fun. She's interesting because she starts off, you know, she got some sort of annoying for but she also kind of fun. We know she can be trusted, but Niker. And when it gets to that, I don't know if I'm Kevin, but 
I I do like the third take. I don't know why I've got and why I haven't. And that, it would I be a noodle magnet. We wouldn't know what happened with them. And if we did find out, it'd be either the funny or you know, or they keep it hidden. But here we find out, or in a bunch of bad guy, or the dealing stuff, and Perry can't there. Viola came and actually prevented them from accidentally made it so they got away. Because they, they didn't have jurisdiction in Canada, which is called the Cal. Um, yeah. I do like how we learned that we have apparently the other live game for our country, I guess. The Canadian on are not black enough. Yeah. Yeah, I already mentioned the half bear thing. Well, we won. I found most of the Perry Lama actually won't get right. And Perry do have a few, like, like, with a great Ocean 11 parody at the end, we're at Niagara Falls. And everyone's trying to play walk away, and it kind of kind of clear. And Perry do for a like, 20 man. Guarantee, like, if they're any gayer, they might as well just butt fuck each other. Can't go with you, Boo, for an analogy. I'm actually watching right now with like Perry. <laughs> um. Alright, so. Cut like that. And do have a few, like, lines where, like, and keep the quiet, Robert, not to make friends. They end up leaving you for someone else. And I thought that was kind of interesting. They used in the right amount. So, later on, you get used a lot, but more if you're into the, of the plot, he kind of goes away in favor of Lila. Now, we get Professor Bannister voiced by Kevin McDonald, who is, you know, completely lawful. He's perfect for a and he's very funny. You know, I like how other villains can show that aren't do are competent to have her own look like. So like Kim is, well, has to do with nationality, and I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's actually a lot of fun, and we get some good ribbing at some other country. You can, he, we learn a lot about him, and he can like, affect everything, but I honestly can't even come from the point. So, that's actually really interesting. There's a lot of really good jokes in this one. Like, that kind of one of my favorite parry entrance ever. Like a tree, but the tree falls over and hit going off. And Perry like, yeah, I'm outy. You know, okay, we get the best national anthem ever by Vanister. Which is really great. And there's a lot of really interesting gang we do for the guys. One of my favorite is when they get on the train and he go, you know we're gonna end up here eventually, right? Yeah, my impression is very good. Great migrant bit in the credit too, and I like that. I guess where any where the only problem people might have is that while they Keep the painting tight. There are some points where they don't make a lot of jokes, and some of the two elements might get crossed over to the point where people don't like that. But it might be their problem. But for the most part, it's very well done. It was funny. It was we seen them hang out. It was action pat. The opening action sequence is great. People have asked if Perry actually does fight other people, and I think when they have someone who did not have an amic running about doing bad things, and they need, and it, you know, you know, really bad, they can out whoever's not Mickey, and I get Perry with that Mickey. By the way, Peter Pan Peter is in the one, you know, who can get my talent fair character. <laughs> Peter is going to catch a pretty interesting, you know, and Perry actually, you know, doesn't mind the time, and I quite like that turn. People will try to connect Peter Pan to the open in Seattle, and uh, there's a lot of really good theories, so. But, yeah, um, not enough for the video. So, yeah, it was very good. They used the plot very well, picking the tight, carrying all the guys together, and getting involved. And that stuff, a lot of really fun. We'll do for me the right way. So, for the first half hour, for the first really, really Perry scene episode, it worked really well. So, overall, I probably give it realistically an A line because, again, it had some rejected things, and I'll just you know, really likely A minus, but personally A, but more A minus if you do mind the poor thing. We got a lot of fun, you get, you know, I just like those that are important, you know, instead of just being Thor, the fun, they introduce new things and give me information, I really like that. So, A minus, a lot of fun. The song could be better, but that's not a complaint. My other complaint, I guess. But it's well paint. Yeah, it's very funny. So, there you go. So, um, in the next video, 
to be up soon, I'll be talking about Primal Perry. Yeah, I was going to do them both in one video, but that'd be take too much time. Okay, so the end of it, I'll talk about Primal Perry. Fan track is very good. Check it out.